2022's in the books. And it's been another busy year here at Youth for Christ Rochester. We've launched our new Arts Academy program with Matt Smelter teaching character development, cartooning, animation, and more. Lakeisha Evans took over our Proverbs 31 girls program for middle school girls and completed our second and started our third full six month course. Coach Felix has been busy in the gym. In addition to our weekly programs, he's added a four week summer basketball camp with the support of ESL and Rochester Area Community Foundation. We've also hosted camps with the Flower City Work Camp and our new partner, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. We're making an impact against the long-standing curse of fatherlessness in Rochester. All year we've been blessed to gather regularly for the Fatherhood Initiative Roundtable. We held our third Fatherhood Initiative Conference. Together we're learning how to mentor young boys and men and help guide them to their purpose in Christ. Our city is in crisis. The chronic cultural problems we face can feel overwhelming at times. But by the grace of God, every day we see evidence that Youth for Christ is making a difference. Coach Felix and Lakeisha joined me on my radio show just the other day to recap the year. Was there a, a significant encounter with a kid that was just extra special for you this year that uh, you could share with us? Absolutely. The young man who came into our program and through Flower City Work Camp and Rochester Youth for Christ, this young man got an opportunity to experience the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. He came in as an atheist. He was upfront about it. He said, I was an atheist. I didn't believe in God. And... I'm sorry, I get a little emotional. I know but, you do. <laughs> uh, but he came in and he gave his he gave his life to the Lord. Um, he's recently been dealing with uh, bouts of depression. So he came to me, he texted me one day and just said, Coach Felix, I need to talk to you. So we sat and talked. Um, and I got him involved in some type of, you know, uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. But now he's involved in Bible study. Amen. He's coming in, he's done, doing volunteer work. Amen. And he's getting there. He's on track. He's, he's on, on the track. right track. He's on the right track. He's getting, he's, he's on track. By connecting with, uh, with Youth for Christ and Coach Felix. You know, to really change Rochester, we have to offer our youth an alternative culture, a way of life that is different from the world, a Christ culture. As we seek to nurture and shape our youth, we want them to act in ways that are noticeably different from other kids. We want to be a community of disciples who are learning every day what it means to live life following Christ. One of our highlights was the tea party. Mm. Um, the girls were very excited. They got to dress up, wear their dresses, their fascinators, which are like hats. And we taught an etiquette class before lunch, and the girls learned how to sit with their dresses on, and they learned how to stir they, their tea without spilling it, which fork goes with the salad, with the dinner. And I think that, you know, we use practical things like manners and etiquette, but it's really about, you know, how to present yourself as a young lady. Yep, that's exactly what it is. That's what makes our girls stand out. Was there someone that stood out that uh, you think about for this year? Yeah, there was a young lady who, when um, everything was going on about pro-life and pro-choice, the subject just had her really upset and angry. Yeah, yeah. And so we like to teach the girls that we believe that God wants us to keep our children. She was so upset because she said that, oh, my dad didn't want me. He, he didn't want me. He, he didn't want my mom to keep me. And then she just was upset and started mm -hmm. crying. And... We, we just loved on her and embraced her, and she just began to accept the love of God through us Amen. and our love. And so that will always stay with me. God is using Youth for Christ to transform lives. Our programs are having an impact today on the critical issues we face in our city. At the same time, we are focusing on long-term strategic initiatives. Just the other day, we got a call from a supervisor down at Industry Juvenile Detention Facility. Someone had sent him an email describing our fatherhood initiative. He reached out to me to ask us if we had a program to mentor fathers behind bars. And of course we said, absolutely, we'd love to be a part of helping you with that. 
We are also seeking ways to be a presence in our schools with Bishop David Singleton's Help Me Read program. By reading to these third and fourth graders, we'll begin building relationships with teachers and introducing kids to our programs here at One Favor Street. But we can do none of this without your help. Please consider your best year-end gift to Rochester Youth for Christ. The kids of our city are depending on us.